Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back. So today, I'm feeling my dark fantasy with this. That's really everything. <laughs> and today, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Ipsies for April 2021. We're already four months into the year. It's kind of crazy. I already did the Boxy Charm video, which I'll link, link down below for you for this month for their base and premium boxes. So if you want to see those unboxed, I'll leave a link down below for you. But today, for Ipsy stuff, we have the Ipsy little $12 regular bag, as well as the Ipsy Plus. Now, I am gifted a bag from Ipsy. I also do pay for my own plus subscription and I'm trying to get the X like the Ipsy X it's like every so often but I'm still on the waiting list for that so um I'm a customer as well I don't have an affiliate link but I have one of those like refer your friends anybody can have so I'll leave that down below for you maybe I'll earn some points we'll see um but anyways I'm just gonna unbox these for you today tell you if I think they're worth the price so without any further ado let's get into it also I did mention the small one's $12 the big one is $25 Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, they don't have price cards in here to tell me the retail prices of them. If I remember, I'm gonna put them on the screen for you of like what the retail value is of these things because they don't put cards in here anymore that tell it. But they always have a card in here that has like a cutesy theme on it and tells everybody to like share your looks and like stuff on Instagram. But like, give me a card that says the retail prices. I miss that so much. But let's get started with the little base bag. This is the bag for the month which is cute. It's like a canvas material. However, it is collecting every little piece of lint from the foam inside of the box. Um, so, I mean, it's cute. I do like the little lippy, the little lips tag up here. It's cute, but it's not my favorite bag I've ever had. So let's start seeing what's inside here. So first off, this is from First Day Beauty. This is their facial radiance pads to help exfoliate, tone, and brighten. So we get 10 pads in here. So I've never, I've used... I don't think I've ever used the radiance pads from them. I have used a lot of First Day Beauty stuff before because it's really, it's allergy free, hypoallergenic, fragrance free and stuff and it's really good for sensitive skin like myself and dry skin. But I don't think I've ever used these that I can recall. But here's a little tin pack. Let's see what else we have in here. So it's a little mini box. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. It is called Sydney Bathers. So it's a highlighter, Kiss of Sun highlighter. Let's see what shade we got. Because this little side thing looking awfully dark. The only thing about highlighters and subscriptions is I love highlighters, right? So I'm always happy to get one. They oftentimes, in a subscription box, are a dark gold. And I can never wear them. So we'll see if this is any different. Eh! Okay. Oh, look how cute. It's so small. So this is the thing. Oh, it's actually light. I can actually wear this. So here is the Nomad highlighter. It's really cute. Just has an NC little imprint in here. It's super small. But then again, like, whoever finishes a highlighter, like, I have finished highlighters, but I have to love a highlighter to finish it. So this is the next thing in here, which is a little mini highlighter, and I need to try more Nomad Cosmetics stuff because they have really pretty packaging. Next up in here is something from Dr. Botanicals, which we've gotten something from them before. It was like a superfood facial mask, sleeping mask, I think. So this is a WM Watermelon Superfood Cleanser and Makeup Remover. So this is what this looks like. I'm not crazy about, like, cleansers all the time. I have a ton of them already. But, like, I like the watermelon scent. And, like, a small cleanser is better because I can actually finish it, you know? So, next up in here is from Thrive Cosmetics. This looks like something that would be in the regular box. I don't know. Um, it's from Cosmetics instead of Cosmetics. Same word, but you know what I'm saying. This is the Lip Filler Lip Liner. Semi-permanent, uh, semi-permanent micro-pigment technology. It is a plum mauve color because I can't pronounce the name of the shade. We've gotten these things before too. I've never seen anybody like hauling Thrive Cosmetics stuff before. This is what the color of the lip liner looks like and it is a kind of a cream pencil. It is kind of a plummy mauve color. I wouldn't really call it a plum plum. It's more of a redder than plum. Like I think plum, I think purple. But this is the next thing in here. It's a full size lip liner. It looks like we have two other things in here which seems like a lot for this little mini bag. Next up in here is a Made in Australia Turmeric Vitamin C Clay Mask. You Glow Girl Skinny Mask. My Skinny Mask. So, next thing in here is a little face mask, clay mask, which is cute in a tube, and it also is very squishy. Like, very soft. Sometimes you get little masks and they're too hard. And lastly in here is something from Lauren Conrad, who was an actress in Gossip Girl. I've never seen that show, but I've always saw the promotions on, like, magazines and stuff when I was, like, a teenager. Um, so, she has her own makeup line, apparently, and this is the lip gloss. It's just called the lip gloss. It doesn't even tell me what shade it's in. It just says the lip gloss. Um, but this is the lip gloss, which is just an average kind of color. Honestly, I think probably one of these things that was meant to be in the plus box, but they were came they came together. Um, because it seems like a lot, but we'll see. So we have a the lip gloss, we have the bag, of course. We have a turmeric and vitamin C clay mask. We have 
a makeup remover and cleanser, for, it's watermelon scented, a little mini Nomad highlighter, a full size lip liner from Thrive Cosmetics, I don't know why I forgot that, and then 10 peely face masky things, radiance pads from First Aid Beauty in the box, so, or in the bag. So this is the little first bag. Look, we flew through that, but I mean, nothing in there I'm like dying, like, oh my god, I have to have this over. Maybe if I was like into lip gloss or lip liners because I don't really wear those products all the time because I use liquid lipsticks and they I don't need a lip liner or not use gloss so maybe I mean I don't mind the watermelon cleanser just because it is small and I like first day beauty too so so far so good so let's go now to the plus box okay so for the ipsy theme of the month it is called force of nature like it says on the little, like little show your stuff card and in the ipsy plus it's like the big box something about these boxes though from ipsy like ipsy is great and everything but i prefer the boxy charm boxes themselves because when you open like after you open the you like cut the tape to open the box like ipsy boxes like like you can't put they're all floppy like they just they're falling apart on me like at all times like they're always falling apart and they're just like and you can't ever put them back together because you got to stuff this on the inside and then this part's still popping up like you can't put it back together once you open it which is weird i don't it's a very minor complaint but it just like on you when you open it for the first time and if you have an ipsy plus you know exactly what i'm talking about but this is the inside of the ipsy glam bag plus this month it looks like some accessories in here and i hope they don't count as like our plus items because I, I pay for a makeup subscription i don't really want accessory stuff unless it's like just freebies so first off the top here we have a hat I don't wear hats I don't think I have a head for hats um this is called force of nature it's the theme for the month with a little thing up here I'm sure this is just a free like extra thing it is from Port Authority which I've heard of before um because I am from the south and a lot of people wear that stuff but it is a little I would call this a fishing hat personally I would call this a fishing hat tell me what you actually call it down below after that we see something else in here which seems to be like an extra thing which is an umbrella which is great because I don't have one in my car so last year I went to a football game and I got the umbrella out of my car and then because it was raining it was like an, one of those NFL games it was like for the Jaguars in Jacksonville and I was bringing an umbrella in because it was raining and you weren't allowed to bring umbrellas in because that was against policy so I had to dump it in the trash can because it was like half a mile walk back to the car so to dump the trash can and I don't have a trash I don't have a fucking umbrella in my car anymore because of that which is dumb <laughs> but um this is the ipsy rain essentials by shed rain little umbrella it's really cute and yellow which is great because I tend to lose things and I don't have things in any color I guess I'm not gonna open an umbrella in the in the in the inside because that's like a thing people say not to do um so we have an umbrella which is cute next up in here we have it looks like we have four things in here, which I think we're supposed to have five. So maybe like the lip liner from the mini bag was supposed to be in the big one. I don't know. But let's go to the first thing here, which is from Victoria Beckham, who is very beautiful. I'm a huge Spice Girls fan, but I don't respect the fact that she thinks she's too fucking good for the Spice Girls now. Because she's she does her fashion thing. And the fact that she didn't want to do the reunion because she was just too busy to be a Spice Girl, which made you what you are. Victoria, don't... Okay, I have qualms with her, okay? She's gorgeous and everything. I didn't really like her whole posh, stuck-up personality thing. Even in, like, the Spice World movie, it was like, we get it, you think you're pretty. And she is. But, like, I don't know, the fact that she thinks she's too good to reunite with the Spice Girls for the reunion really rubs me the wrong way. So, Victoria, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Sorry, I don't even care. I don't even care. Her husband's hot, though. I mean, she's hot, too. It makes sense. But, like, you're not too good for the Spice Girls. Nobody's too good for the Spice Girls. Anyways, what is this product? Uh, this is the Future Lash Smudge Free Lifting Mascara. So, sorry, I love Spice Girls. And the fact that she thinks she's too good for literally, like, th the fucking world is too much for me. <laughs> um, but this is a very heavy, nice feeling mascara. Um, it just says Victoria Beckham on it because, you know, she's all about herself. <laughs> this turned into a hate video real fast because nobody's better than the Spice Girls. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's a really heavy, nice feeling packaging and in the inside, it, it, literally there's like a little card in here inside this box that just says her name again. So we get it. We get who made it. I don't know the retail value of this. I'm sure it's something absurd, but I'll leave it on the screen for you. But this is the Future Lash. I don't know how many hate comments I'm going to get about this. <laughs> this whole rant about Victoria Beckham. Whatever. Um, next up is a shampoo bar. So this is the Argon Oil and Control and Soften Soap Equals Home bar so it's just a big shampoo bar very 
fat and thick, which is good because when you use a shampoo bar, you kind of go through a lot very quickly. Um, right now in my shower, I'm trying out the Eco Roots. They look like this. I'm not going to pull it out because it's just like a little bar thing. There's no packaging on it. The Eco Roots shampoo and conditioner bars. I like the good lather it gives me on the conditioner. The shampoo is just okay. I mean, I feel like I just, I like a liquidy form of shampoo better, but I don't mind the conditioner. And I haven't dropped it yet, so that's great. Because <laughs> I'm always scared if I use a bar, it's going to be really slippery. But the Eco Roots one have been really easy to use so far. And they're organic, which is fantastic. And I've been trying to use less patch packaging on stuff. I just did an empties video recently. And I had like a lot of shampoo bottles and stuff. And I was like, this is very wasteful. So I'm very grateful to be trying those out currently. And it smells good. Like it's not like, oh, so luxurious smelling. It just smells clean and fresh, which I think a lot of people would appreciate. Especially if you don't like overly fragrance things. But as far as what's in the Ipsy this month, we have a shampoo bar and it's very thick and a good size. But I don't know if I want it in a makeup. I want makeup in these boxes, I guess. Next up in here is another thing from Item. We just got the Item Prep Primer Setting Spray thing before and I'm just testing it out. So now we got another item from them. We got another item from Item. <laughs> This is the Light Sauce Balancing Gel Moisturizer for Oily and Combo Skin. So let's see. It says a dose of self-love. And I'm going to try this actually. So here is the Little Sauce Balancing Moisturizer. I swear my man is <laughs> so spoiled that like, okay, so I got a Sunday Riley thing in an Ipsy like a couple months ago and I gave it to him to like, I got him a skincare bag he takes to work every morning because he doesn't have time at home to do his skincare. So when he gets to work, he does his skincare. And I get him like a little bag of skincare. He had that Sunday Riley vitamin C when he's already finished it. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just shoving it in his beard. I'm like, that's not, it's for your skin, not for your hair. But I keep like trying new moisturizers that I get in boxes and stuff. And he loves like, ooh, what you get now? <laughs> trying the new moisturizers with me. And I love that about him. Like some people do not take good care of their skin. And I've dated people like that. I'm so glad this man is willing to try and make his skin nice. This doesn't have a fragrance, this moisturizer. It's very wet, so it's it's extremely, uh, a little goes a long ways. It's like a water, it, it's a watery based one. I wouldn't say it's a water cream. Water creams have a little bit more of a gelatin-like thing to it. This is a very liquidy moisturizer and a little goes a long way. Um, but it sits for oily and combo skin, so we'll see. I do have more dry skin, but I'll try it out, we'll see. Lastly in here, well actually let me do the bag before we get to the last thing. So this is the bag, it's a little drawstring bag. We always get a drawstring bag in the plus and a little zipper pouch, like a makeup pouch in the regular bag. So this is it, it looks cute and it matches the theme. And then let me make sure there's nothing else. Yep, this is the last thing besides this random piece of paper. In the box each time I had a random piece of paper too. Why is there pieces of paper and stuff? What the hell? Okay, so this is a Bell and Argent Nude Intuition Vision, Intuitive Vision. I can't show you this without it being reflective. It has a cute, like, it has eyes on it, which looks really fancy. I don't know what this is, though. It, it literally doesn't even say what it is. It just says nude intuitive vision. And then how in the back it says, how to use, use a brush. So I think I'm going to assume it's an eyeshadow palette. But I don't really know because it's not really telling me what it is. It could be a face palette. I don't know. So this is it. Oh, I can show it to you. It didn't, like, whoosh, reflect on you. Um, it just says the name of the brand on the front. Ooh. And then in the inside we have a little card that has name shades or shade names on it. On the mirror we have a little eyeball. There's an eyeball in the mirror. And then here is, I don't even want to like reflect everything. It's too bright. There we go. There is the eyeshadow palette. It is very basic. I would like even like this darker shade to be like a little bit darker, darker for like a punch of color. If you want to do like an everyday workday look and then transition it into night. But it's not bad. Like you have four shimmers. I don't know why there's... Look, these are three shimmers. There's the other shimmer. These are three mattes and here's your other matte, which is kind of an odd choice of placement, but it's an everyday kind of palette. Not very interesting, but not the worst thing in the world because a lot of people would use it for every day. So I'm sure this is a heavy retail value on this because it looks fancy. Like this packaging is very pretty, but it's one of those things that's going to catch every fingerprint. So let's go over everything that we got in the Ipsy Plus. Again, I think maybe something was in the wrong bag. We'll see. But this is the eyeshadow palette we got. We also got a full-size moisturizer from Item. We got a Victoria Beckham who thinks she's better than the Spice Girls mascara, which has a good weight to it. We have a shampoo bar. We have a bag as well as like two little freebies, which is a hat and a umbrella, which is really cute. I'm really excited about the umbrella. I don't care about that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. 
And uh, let me know what you think down below, you guys. Have a great and awesome day out there wherever you are.